Hey, what's up, you two? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. This episode is brought to you by Weeble. Sign up now by clicking the link down in the description. Deposit $100 and get a free stock valued up to $1,400. It's basically free money. In this video, ooh, I'm, I'm excited about this video because I'm gonna end up actually purchasing whichever companies performs the best. I'm gonna be comparing the top sports clothing brands in America. I'm gonna be comparing Nike, I'm going to be comparing Adidas and I'm going to be comparing Under Armour. These three sports companies are known well throughout the United States. So I'm going to be comparing these three. Two of them pays dividends. One of them don't pay dividends. So hopefully the winner is a company that pays dividends so I can add them to my dividend portfolio at the end of this video. So make sure that you guys stick to to the end of this video where we do the portfolio analysis to see which company has been performing the best over the last 10 years to try to help us make a decision for the future. But enough talking, let's dive straight into the video. Welcome back dreamers. Here we are the three companies that we're going to be comparing is Nike, Tickle Symbol NKE, Adidas, ADDYY, and Under Armour, Tickle Symbol UAA. The first one we're going to be looking at is Nike, Tickle Symbol NKE. At the time of the recording of this video, Nike is at $118 even. They have a dividend growth of 18 years. That means over the last 18 years, they have increased their dividend yield. They pay out quarterly. That means that pays out four times a year and they have a dividend yield of 0.83% and you'll receive 24 cents every quarter from Nike, which is around 98 cents for every share of Nike that you own, you receive over the course of a year. The next one we're gonna be looking at is Nike. Token symbol A-D-D-Y-Y. Nike is at $161.31. They pay out annually. That means just one time a year. And last year they paid out uh, $1.88 per share of Adidas that you own. And as you can see over the last couple of years, it went from 90 cents to $1.10, $1.54 to $1.88. So at least over the last couple of years, they have increased their dividend payment. Let's check on Robinhood to see how much is their dividend yield since it's not showing up on Seeking Alpha. So here we are over on Robinhood. Adidas have a dividend yield of 0.83%. So that's Adidas dividend yield. Have to go to Robinhood to get that one. All right, and the last one we're gonna be looking at is Under Armour, ticker symbol UAA. Under Armour don't pay a dividend at all, but as you guys can see, they took a major hit from the pandemic, dropping almost 47% just this year alone. They were up to $20 and now they're around $10. So yeah, they took a major hit from the pandemic. So if you guys are Under Armour fans and a believer in the company, you could be getting a great price on Under Armour right now while it's on sale before they eventually recover in the future if they do decide to recover. So let's take a look at the earnings from these companies over the last year to see how much money they make uh, every single year. Okay, so here's Nike revenue in May 2020. They had a revenue of $37.4 billion, which is insane. Let's look at them compared to the S&P 500. They outperformed the S&P 500 over the last three months six months nine months and over the course of a year they're up 36 percent and the s p 500 is up 11 percent let's take a look at adidas adidas revenue back in 2019 was 26.52 billion dollars so a little less than nike let's look at the momentum over the three six over the three months and six months they outperformed the s p but over the nine month in the year they're a little they're still underneath underperforming the s p 500 due to the pandemic so they took it a little harder than nike did and if we're taking a look at under armor they're at 5.26 billion dollars in revenue in december 2019 and they're underperforming the s p where well, they was outperforming the s p uh in the three months but over the last six and nine months they're underperforming as you guys can tell over the last year they're down 47 percent while the s p 500 is up 11.33 percent so yes of course nike and adidas is very big but under armor um they need to find a way to be a as big as a brand as nike and adidas because i think nike they're 
they're sponsoring the NFL. Adidas got a couple of NBA jerseys, but uh, Under Armour makes a lot of high school football jerseys. But they need to find a way to break into the professional sports area so they could become as big as Nike and Adidas. So let's go ahead and back test these three companies over the last 10 years to see how they perform through the last decade, through the ups and downs on how the economy was, to see if it helped us at all on making any future decisions to add any of these companies to our dividend portfolio. Because I'm really looking to add something to my dividend portfolio. I'm, I'm hoping this is Adidas. I'm not sure yet. We're gonna find out. So make sure that you guys stick through to the end of this video to see which companies which you invest into. All right, here we are on the portfolio visualizers. Let's compare the last decade. So from 2010 to 2020 year to date yes yeah, so let's go ahead and compare that let's add ten thousand dollars back in 2010 rebalance annually display income reinvest dividends yes that's what's important right there and the first one is nike and ke the next one is adidas addyy and the last one is under armor uaa we're going to allocate 100 percent of nike to portfolio number one 100 percent of adidas to portfolio number two and 100% of portfolio three to Under Armour. Let's change these. Portfolio number one is Nike. Portfolio number two is Adidas. And portfolio number three is UAA. So, okay, so when I hit this analyze portfolio button, this is us investing $10,000 into each one of these companies back in 2010 to see how they would have performed over the last decade by reinvesting our dividends into these companies. Um, last decade, we had the ups and downs, recession and all this and all that. So if a company could last through all that in this current recession, then it'll give us a display on how this company can perform in the future. So let's go ahead and hit analyze portfolio. Now, before I hit analyze portfolio, I don't want to look stupid by having on this Adidas shirt because I'm a big fan of Adidas. So hopefully they come out in the lead and I can add them to my dividend portfolio. So let's go ahead and click it right quick and scroll down. Moment of truth. Okay, so Nike is at 77,000 and Adidas is at... Uh... Ah, it was close, man. All right, so, all right, Nike... If you invested $10,000 in 2010, you will have $77,500. That is insane, that is amazing. Okay, Adidas, you will have $69,000, which is still pretty good. And Under Armour, you will have $28,777. So Under Armour got left behind. But that's not really showing the full story because from 2010, Under Armour was kicking. The Under Armour is the yellow line, guys. Under Armour was kicking Adidas and Nikes behind, just completely mopping them. Back in 2015, Under Armour was up $145,000. That is insane. That is insane. In fact, if we keep going all the way over the next couple of years, after 2015, Under Armour just had a dramatic drop. Not really sure. I think they had less marketing or they ended up doing something different with their company. But even back in 2019, Under Armour was still outperforming Nike and Adidas. Under Armour was at $74,000, Adidas was at 69, and Nike was at $57,000. But even pre-pandemic, uh, Under Armour dropped below uh, Nike and Adidas, and then the pandemic happened right there and it dropped dramatically much more and still have not recovered um adidas and nike ended up recovering but it's looking like under armor is going to take a very long time to end up recovering uh recovering from the pandemic so like i said if you think if you are a believer in under armor you're pretty much if you invest into it right now you'll be getting it for a great steal you'll be getting it at a great price and you'll have the maximum chance for profit uh, since Under Armour is so undervalued right now, unless that company just completely tank and goes away. But right now, Under Armour is at a great price, but uh, Nike and Adidas both have recovered already from the pandemic. Let's scroll down and take a look at the dividends. Wow, there's a big one. Back in the day, they probably had special dividends. Um, 2016, Adidas paid out a dividend of $1,836. Nike paid out a dividend of $435 for the year. 2019, Nike paid out $618 worth of dividends in Adidas. Hey, there we go, Adidas paid out a dividend of $838 worth of dividends that year. So that is a good look for Adidas. Okay, Adidas, I'm not mad at you, but right now it's looking like I might invest some into Nike and some into Adidas because um, Nike is outperforming Adidas and 
but Adidas have a better dividend over the last couple of years than Nike has. Under Armour might be a sleeper in a great steal to get in right now, but we will see. Okay, so right now we'll see if investing every single month, buying the dip, buying the dip, buying the dip makes any difference at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to scroll back up and change the settings a little bit. Let's say we just invest $1,000 back in 2010. That's all we had 10 years ago. But instead of it just investing once, we're going to invest continuously $200 a week or $800 a month into the stock market. If you guys follow my channel, you know that I invest $200 a week into the stock market, which is around $800 a month so we're going to use my investing strategy so let's change that to monthly eight hundred dollars a month and we only started off with a thousand dollars so let's scroll down and once we hit analyze portfolio this is us investing one thousand dollars but reinvesting eight hundred dollars every single month hit analyze portfolio let's see if it makes any difference at all okay so nike is at three hundred and sixty one thousand dollars adidas hey there we go adidas adidas Team Adidas, Three Stripe Life. Adidas is at $372,000. That is insane. That is amazing. That is, it shows the difference of continually investing over time other than just one lump sum. And Under Armour is at $82,348. The worst year Nike had was down 17%. The worst year Adidas had was down 45%. And the worst year Under Armour had was down 54%. The best year Nike had was up 54. The best year Adidas was up 74. And the best year under armor was up 101 percent if we're taking a look at the portfolio once again back in 2015 uh under armor was up to 276 thousand dollars that is insane while nike was at 129 and adidas was just at 66 thousand all right and then it started to fall off over time and underperformed the other two. But over the course of the next couple of years, Nike and Adidas was neck and neck, neck and neck, neck and neck. But right here, they finally made the switch early 2020 and it made the switch and Adidas just squeezed out and passed up Nike uh, for the better growth over the last 10 years. Adidas at 372,000 and Nike is at 361,000. And once again, I'm gonna say it one more time, Under Armour, uh, they had an amazing start from 2010 to 2015. They gotta find a way to get something done in order to catch back up to Nike and Adidas. And right now they're undervalued, so it might be a lot of investors coming in and buying up Under Armour while it's still at a good, cheap price. All right, guys, and there you go. There's the three most commonly known sports clothing brands in the United States, Nike, uh, Adidas, and Under Armour. Let me know which one of these would you guys add to your portfolio? Would you add Adidas, which is the best growth over the last 10 years and had the better dividends? Would you go with Nike, which is probably the most popular name brand out there in the entire world? Or would you try to get in at a steal of a price and invest into Under Armour while it's undervalued right now and still have not recovered from the pandemic that's going on in the world right now me personally i'm a believer of investing into products that you actually use i do use nike but i have a lot of adidas so i might invest into both of those i have a little bit of under armor here and there just because i've been playing sports my entire life and i do see them at a steal so i might add a percentage of my portfolio to invest into some of these sports companies let me know down in the description which one of these companies would you guys invest into or if you already have one how have they been performing me inside your portfolio but other than that if you guys don't want to miss out on any future videos make sure that you hit the thumbs up on this video it really helps out this channel more than you can even imagine just hitting the thumbs up on the video so thank all you guys for hitting the thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any future videos but other than that i'm zeke bringing you the dream green show and i'm out peace